stepped into my life Such a magic feeling We tore down my walls I wish I could go back we went to our hotel to check in and then afterwards we went to Cafe Floor to get something to eat because we were hungry. We haven't eaten all morning and then now we're going to this beautiful mall behind us over here. This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same we're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see from the title, we are in Paris for the next few days. Um, so just a little bit of a rewind. So we actually arrived this morning at around 10. It's currently about three, um, but our room wasn't ready. Um, we came on the Eurostar, which was super quick, two hours and you're in Paris. It honestly it almost feels like we didn't leave London. Actually, that's how it feels. It feels like we didn't leave London, to be honest with you. Yeah, so the plans for today is we're going to get ready because at five o'clock we have a wine tasting class oh my god oh thank you christina <laughs> so we're off to wine tasting we are here now this is the place that we're going to i just know things will never be the same like strangers again a is the white grape and pinot noir and pinot Meunier are both red grapes this champagne right here is a blend of all three grapes. She's like, I can feel myself. Please don't fall asleep here. Oh my god. 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 Oh my for the moment, I will use small recommendations. Really French beer, traditional. Okay. You have a flavor, you have French onion soup. Don't forget how they fry cranberry cheese. Uh, you have also flaky sausage from Lyon. How did you enjoy wine tasting? It was really good, actually. Like, I'm surprised by how nice the wine tasted. Like, I'm not really a wine person, yeah. but it definitely was good. Did you enjoy it? That was a lot of wine. I thought we would be tasting and spitting, but they were filling up the glasses. And the, and guys, like the cups were getting filled up to like shit. No, was, it was no. It was, no. It was like a full glass of wine. It was definitely worth your money though. Like you learned a lot, you drank a lot. The company was good. I think they were a really good class. Like it was a really good class. I would definitely recommend it. Definitely. I hundred percent would recommend it. So guys, we'll leave it in the description box down below. We are having some oysters, some onion. Vinegar on there, just like that, and then tabasco sauce. If you don't like oyster sauce, add some tabasco sauce. And then on there, and guys, there are aphrodisiacs. So we are back and we are in front of the Eiffel Tower. Um, so after breakfast, we got back to the room and we was just like, we just jumped in bed. I can't lie to you, we literally both just jumped in bed at the same time. And then we just kind of relaxed a little bit. And then after that, we started getting ready. And now we've made our way to the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna go to the Champs Elysees. Champs. Go shopping. We're gonna go shopping because my heel broke yesterday and I need to buy a new pair of heels to go out tonight. But for now, we're gonna just go and do tourist behavior and have a look around, maybe get something to eat. I need a coffee, grab a coffee, grab something to eat, take some pictures for Instagram because I still haven't taken one picture for Instagram and we've been here 24 hours. Top. 
I was gonna pre-book um, going up the Eiffel Tower. Thank goodness we didn't because right now we can't even see anything. We don't want to take the stairs because we are lazy. So lazy we're thinking well. we're gonna get try to get tickets to take the lift to go up to the second floor and then just have a look at the second floor. And apparently there's a restaurant there, but we don't have a booking. And so. then we're just gonna see really what happens. So hey. We just ate here, which I just showed you guys. I completely forgot to vlog the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> we're too busy eating. The food wasn't that great anyway. How was your food? No, it was just meh. Nah, yeah, the food was meh. Um, now I need to go Zara to buy a pair of heels, maybe Sephora, just have a look around. It's like, really, really busy. Can we actually go Sephora's over there? It's over there. Okay, let's cross the road. perfume called Tonk by Guerlain she's getting it embossed and we're like upstairs in this like really private exclusive area it's so nice like look at this and this place this building before it was a shop it used to be the home of Guerlain is it Guerlain yeah Guerlain Golan sorry Golan <laughs> Golan my bad so um, yeah, they used to live here and she just got a fragrance. It's so good. It's, it smells so good It's called Tonk. Tonk guys. It's in one of these bottles here. I can't find it, but it's, it looks like this So good Bonsoir YouTube family, welcome back. Okay, so yesterday was a whole adventure. We and what did we even do? So after what did we do? So where we did where did we go during the day? We went to where did we go? Oh, our memory is terrible. I don't even know where we went, went to. We went somewhere and I got a skirt from H and M and then we came back to the hotel and we kind of chilled we drank our wine that the hotel gave us we went to the eiffel tower went to the eiffel tower but it was cloudy so we didn't get to go really up the day. eiffel tower and it was really cold then we went to champs elise we didn't even walk to the ark we're really bad we didn't even go to the ark but we, we we went shopping in that vicinity the area and then afterwards we came back to the hotel drank our wine and then we started to get ready because we didn't have dinner reservations so we wasn't in a rush so this is where it got interesting we went to this place called monka monarch monarch um someone recommended it to me a friend um we went and it was packed like remember i was saying to you guys that how I wasn't sure if they're not gonna let us in. We had PTSD from the day before when we didn't get into the club. So we ended up going to this Monarch place. We ended up meeting some people, which was really cool. They're really friendly and like, they were like American and French girls as well. So it was really, really fun. Then afterwards, like, oh my gosh, like we should go out. We're gonna go to this. They, they, they actually swindled us because first they said we we're gonna go to a place called, was it Babel? No. Oh, what was it called? anyway they said we we're gonna go to this other club and then two twos we end up back at the racist club that we was at the day before can you imagine but this time one of the girls no two of the girls was with i think they work there or they go there often because one of the girls was fully on the table breaking everybody. in she kissing knew everyone, everyone kissing everyone she was on no she was on the bar breaking it down Popping it one time for real so we ended up going to this club i think i have some footage so i'm gonna try like insert it so y'all can see the whole vibe um i still hate the club just saying 
um they were just rude i feel like even like the coat the girls like taking the coats they were like mocking us and talking about us in french like you could tell um it was so tiny inside like when i got inside i was like to christina yeah i get why they don't let people in because you gotta be real selective because there was a lot of mirrors so i feel like the mirrors made it look a lot bigger than it was but i think realistically probably about 60 people could fit in there like realistically and they had like two two bathrooms one gentleman bathroom like that's how small it was it was like real tiny but the music though i ain't gonna lie the music was good i was okay. hearing a little bit of vibes cartel there was a bit of afrobeats there was a bit of spanish there was grime there was grime there was like spanish french music oh mm -mm. the music was good y'all the music was good still hate them there <laughs> um, but like no. some of the bartenders were cute yeah christina was like oh, like christina was getting us free drinks like christina was doing her thing yeah but no it was like a really really good night we didn't get home until 5 a.m so that means it was a good night because we got home super super late so um yeah like we partied we left we came back and we were so drunk like we was downstairs in the area where we have breakfast and we were just there just like taking pictures grabbing food grabbing tea <laughs> <laughs> the guy who must be thinking these like, drugs okay? <laughs> it was like are y'all okay like you okay but um yeah and then we just came upstairs and we like crashed like ko'd into the bed um so yeah no it was good but i hope they haven't rumbled on for four minutes about yesterday but yeah but anyway so today we are going to the love we had a booking for um for now at 12 um we're late so hopefully we can still get in um if not we just have to get new tickets which kind of sucks but um we're gonna go to love then christina has to come back because she has some work that she needs to do i'm gonna kind of explore a bit more i want to go to the picasso museum as well i'm feeling very french today um very very french i've got my beret i've got leather gloves I'm gonna wear like this black and white monochrome blazer like it's a whole vibe y'all so yeah but anyway I'm kind of done rambling on because I've been talking for ages um I'll just kind of show you guys what we get up to and we're going on an adventure currently at the hotel we're about to leave actually and i thought i'll come on and just say what's up so we went to the Louvre, which was amazing i had so much fun did you have fun christina I did. did you learn a lot about art and the history of art we 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 um and then we ate somewhere just like close by and then we came back to the hotel room and we slept because you know, I, I don't know who can relate, but as you get older, after a turn up, I just need a couple of days. The struggle is real. Oh my, the bounce back takes like two solid days, like two solid days and loads of sleep, loads of water. No, I keep Christina. Yeah, so we had to come back and take like a power nap. Um, and now we're getting ready. We're going to this place called mama 
Mama P Mama Prima. Mama Prima. And it's an Italian place because we're like we want some truffle pasta, truffle pizza, we some are ravioli. In France, we eat French food, do not judge us. Yeah, I know we're in France, we should eat French food. But we've been trying to eat we've gone to loads of French cafes and French food. Christina's had her fair share of French onion soup. She's had three actually. So I'm she's on a mission. The best one. I feel like I'm gonna come back yeah. with Natasha and <laughs> Be on the hunt for the best she's on the hunt for the best place that sells french onion soup so if you guys know a place let us know so next time we come back to paris we will go there but we're gonna go to this place to have some italian food i'm bringing my camera because my bag is big so i will vlog everything and it's our not last night in paris we also need to do our um, passenger locator form whilst we're at the restaurant probably waiting for our food so yes it should be about i really wanted to go to a jazz place tonight but there isn't nowhere that's really open on a sunday in paris and i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of tired so <laughs> it's gonna be an early night and then tomorrow a little bit more exploring we wanted i wanted to go to the picasso museum but i was tired and it's who told me to wear heeled boots i was trying to look cute i had a cute little outfit my feet was burning me so even today i'm wearing chelsea boots to dinner so yeah but anyway rambling on i will check you guys later i will show you guys what we're up to and let's go so today is my last day in paris i'm by myself today because christina had to go into work and there's an office in paris um for her work so she went in this morning she kind of packed up and she left me so i've just been here kind of getting ready packing my bags and now <clears throat> by the way i'm losing my voice clearly but um now i'm gonna go to the museum or say i think it's called and then i want to go back to the mall that we went to um the other day i might go to this place called coco just to have lunch now because i'm hungry i haven't eaten so i'm probably gonna go coco to have something to eat then the museum or say then i'm gonna try go back to that mall that we went to the other day but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to do that because we're kind of strapped for time our train is at seven um so we need to get to garden nord by probably about 5 30 and it's about 12 right now so i've got like a few hours to kind of get a few stuff done do a little bit more tourist touristy things and then christina's gonna meet me once she finishes work we're leaving our suitcase here at the hotel and yeah um paris has been amazing i've had so much fun like honestly um yeah i definitely would, would recommend the hotel that i'm staying at like i said it's super super central to everywhere the room's really tiny but it's okay like if you're here for a few days like it really doesn't matter um but like i said it's super central to everything um the food has been great the food yesterday oh my goodness was so good like i am so in love with italian food now like i found out this year that my great grandma um yeah my great grandma was fully italian and my great granddad was cuban so ever since then i've been trying to understand like italian culture and stuff seeing as it's a part of my history um but no the food was great i'm gonna end this vlog here i really hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog obviously i'm trying to do a lot more travel vlogs i hope you guys enjoy this please like comment and share let me know what other videos you guys want to see and until my next video i will see you guys there so how was it au revoir au revoir <laughs>